Hello friends, this is Worm, and I've been kicked out of every game today because of server issues, but today I wanted to talk about uh, Well of Radiance and basically its upcoming nerf because Bungie has already kind of confirmed it's on, I believe it was their Twitter, uh, they did talk about Well of Radiance and they hinted that it will be getting a nerf in the future. And I wanted to talk kind of today about the reasons why it's going to be getting a nerf and I think some of the reasons why or not some of the reasons, but like some of the ways Bungie can nerf it without really killing the Well of Radiance. Uh, of course, it's no secret that Well of Radiance is a major, major power player in any in-game activity, Grandmasters, raids, anything like that. Uh, and it's almost weird to see a Warlock not running a Well of Radiance. And that's why I kind of wanted to talk about this today. Uh, but before we go any further... I wanted to point out that 79% of you are not subscribed. So go down there and hit that subscribe button. I don't bite, I promise. And we do daily Destiny conversations, debates, discussions, and stuff like that over here on the channel. So yeah, go down there and hit that sub button. But without further ado, let's talk about Well of Radiance. Uh, and Well of Radiance, of course, it's, you know, I don't play... Warlock is my least played character, right? Warlock, it's it's no secret, it's my least played character. I really only play it every now and then. Uh, you know, I do obviously like weekly raids and stuff on it. But for the most part, I'm playing Titan for PvE and I'm playing Hunter for PvP. Um, but when I do hop on, I typically play Solar Warlock. I use Well of Radiance and I use a very support-based build. Um, and of course, the Well of Radiance ties right into that role. However... I can imagine that there are a lot of Warlock players out there, and correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but there's a lot of Warlock players that would love to use something besides the Well of Radiance, but they are almost like forced to use it because Well of Radiance makes things in Destiny so much simpler, right? You know, think about trying to kill Crota without a Well of Radiance Warlock. We actually did that uh, last night. I was playing on my Titan. We had all Titans and Hunters, no Warlocks. Okay. And it was much more difficult because what I had to do is I had to get a tangle. I had to use strand Titan. I had to have banner war times four. Um, you know, I had to do all these steps, throw a tangle at Crota's feet right as they're going in. So we get woven mail, stand close to him, you know, and standing close with, with banner war isn't like that difficult, but man, it'd be so much easier if we just had a warlock. But I know that not every warlock probably likes to run well. Like I know that, you know, I've seen some crazy arc warlock, strand warlock, void, stasis warlock builds that would really fit well into in-game content. But warlocks are kind of forced into using Well of Radiance because it is so good. And Well of Radiance, I think in in-game content is the best super in the game. And and I know that there'll probably be somebody who disagrees. Feel free to leave me, you know, leave me a comment as to why you disagree. But I think that Well of Radiance is the pinnacle of supers for pve activities especially in-game pve activities because it gives you damage resistance it gives you healing it gives you a damage boost like it gives you all these things and you can stand in it and shoot out of it right like of course back in destiny one we just had word of dawn we had the bubble right and bubble was a huge huge um, uh, you know importance to any in-game activity because it allows you to deal more damage you could put weapons of light on and have that that increase to damage right well of Radiance came along and Bubble, when it initially came, Bubble was still incredibly important because the Bubble had a, you know, it had a 35% damage buff, right? Weapons like gave you a 35% damage buff and Well of Radiance only gave you a 25, right? So it was still important to have a Bubble on your team, but you could also have a Well to make things a little bit easier. Now, of course, they're hand in hand and I'm I'm be honest, I don't see the point of using Bubble. I don't remember the last time I used Bubble in any type of PvE activity. I don't really see a lot of viability in it. Like maybe in a situation where you don't have a warlock, Bubble is a, is a next a next best, so to speak. But uh, you know, I think that's that's the Well of Radiance completely surpasses the Bubble. Right? You can stand in it, you can heal, you can shoot out of it, you have damage resistance, you get the damage boost. Like in the bubble, like, yeah, like it's great. It's a great defensive thing. You know, you can run, pop it on a on a dead teammate in a Grandmaster Nightfall, for example, you know, and then pick them up. But you could also do the same thing with the well. And when that teammate's back up, now they can stand there in the well and clear out like the room or, or whatever it is you're doing. Right. So well has completely like overtaken the bubble you know, with, with, in terms of everything, every aspect of it. Uh, and I think that the reason Bungie is, is nerfing it is because 
it feels necessary. Like, I mean, imagine trying to do like a contest mode raid and you didn't have a single warlock, right? That would be difficult. Imagine if you didn't have a single well warlock. Like imagine you're doing contest mode raid and you have two warlocks, but both of them say, no, I want to use arc or I want to use strand or stasis or something like that. It would be frustrating and it would almost be like, wow, like you're not a team player at all. So warlocks are kind of forced into this role of using the well of radiance. And I don't think Bungie likes that. I also don't think that Bungie likes, you know, that, that content is made so much easier with well of radiance. But I want to talk about how I think that Bungie could go about changing it without totally destroying it. Um, and I'll start with the first most obvious one. Simple. Take away the damage boost you get from being inside the well of radiance. Right. Like, like that right there, I think would be the most appropriate thing to do. Right. Because with well of radiance, you can stand in it. You can, you can heal, you get damage resistance. Right. But you don't deal increased damage. So it doesn't immediately invalidate the bubble. Like the bubble being that, you know, 25% damage boost with weapons of light. That's still a very, very important thing. And it's like, okay, we, you know, yeah, we have a well of radiance, which will make, you know, fighting Crota easier, but we're going to need a bubble too. So we can maximize our damage. Right. And Destiny, you know, they're all about, or Bungie's all about, you know, min maxing things, right? So to maximize damage, we need a bubble and a well. And I think that that would be the most preferable thing that they could do to Well of Radiance to bring it in line. Like, I think that if you take away like the healing factor, like then it's just, I mean, it's kind of pointless, right? Like bubble, you can't shoot out of it, but you are safe inside of it. It, it should be like a protective shelter where you are, are safe inside. And when you come out, you are ready to go. Well of Radiance is more of a, a small sanctuary. Should be seen as more of a small sanctuary where, you know, I can run into it. I can heal. You know, I can kill ads and stuff like that. But you don't get a damage boost. Or perhaps maybe maybe not, uh, you know, you, maybe not remove the damage boost completely. But make it where you're, when you're standing, you're just like Radiant. You know, 15% more damage. Or 10% more damage. Like, or Sorry, not Radiant. Because Radiant is 25% more damage in PvE. But make it when you're standing inside of it, you don't deal as much increased damage as you would with Weapons of Light. Right. Uh, and I think that's the biggest change that they could make to it. That's the most logical change I could see coming to it as well. Again, if you take away the healing factor, it's, it's going to be completely pointless, right? <laughs> I mean, the bubble doesn't heal you, but you are literally standing inside of an impenetrable dome, you know, well of radiance heals you, but you're not standing inside of in, an impenetrable dome. So I think that would be appropriate. Another thing I could potentially see them doing in terms of a nerf to the bubble is removing some of the damage resistance that you get, or I'm sorry, the well of radiance, removing some of the damage resistance you get. And that would, it would kind of feel bad. I'm not going to lie. Because, you know, you can no longer just, you know, pop it and just kill every, you know, kill all these ads, blah, blah, blah. Like, I, 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 you couldn't do that as easily, but at the same time, you know, everybody gathering in a well for like a, a boss damage phase, like against maybe Oryx or something. Yeah. I mean, it worked perfectly fine then because Oryx doesn't have any attacks that will absolutely shred you. But if you are surrounded by ads and you only have like 20% damage resistance or 25%, then it's going to be problematic. So it will, re it will re, it would, sorry, require players to be smarter about the use of their well. You know, not just a a general, hey, here you go, boom, band aid fix for any problem, because that's kind of the way the well feels right now. Like it feels like any problem that you have in Destiny, you can solve with a well. Somebody's down, run up to him, throw throw a well down. We need more damage, throw a well down. Like oh my gosh, like I'm about to die, put a well down. Like you can do all these things. You know, it's, it's a jack of all trades, so to speak, and it benefits all of your allies. Uh, those are the two most logical changes. Of course, you know, I have thought about some crazy like change ideas. Uh, you know, one of which being like, you know, whenever you're inside the well uh, of radiance, you get a 50% damage boost, but nobody else on your team gets a damage boost at all. I don't really see that being a viable answer to the problem. I mean, yeah, it'd be neat and all to give, you know, yourself a damage boost, but again, it doesn't make a lot of sense, you know, and especially, um, you know, in, in a situation like where you're, where you're in a team, like, again, I think every warlock would end up just running well of radiance because yeah, we don't, it doesn't stack, but Hey, like I'm doing 50% more damage. Like I'm doing the damage of, you know, one of you got or a half of one of you guys right? That you're in a team with. So that's one crazy idea. Um, another crazy idea would be it, you know, take away the damage boost, but also like when you're standing inside of the well of radiance, maybe your abilities would just cool down faster, like flat out cool down faster, like something like Ember of Benevolence 
on the solar subclass, like just for free, just for standing in the well, right? So your supers cool down faster, your melee, your grenade, your class ability, all those cool down faster while you are inside of the well of radiance. Because after all, like the well of radiance is a well of light. You know, it's a well of light. Uh, and of course, we've seen wells of light in other game modes that, you know, charge you up and stuff like that. I think in uh, the Witch Queen campaign, there were a couple of those, but I don't know. Those are some crazy thoughts, but, you know, the Well of Radiance nerfs, it, the Well of Radiance nerf is coming. It's like, that's inarguable. Like Bungie's not going to release a new super, uh, which is Song of Flame and have well of radiance still exist the way it is because nobody's going to use song of flame they're literally just going to use well of radiance because it's so good uh so of course there has to be kind of some form of trade-off i guess in in-game content but yeah uh that's that's my thoughts on well of radiance that's the reasons why it's going to be nerfed uh and some of the ideas i had for maybe how they could nerf it without really just destroying it but of course i want to hear your thoughts in the comments what do you think about well of radiance nerfs uh we know what's coming are you happy about it? Are you sad about it? Uh, mainly, I want to call my Warlock mains here. Warlock mains, are you happy that Well of Radiance is getting a nerf? Or are you not happy about it? Right? Answer that question in the comments. Of course, if you enjoyed today's video, drop a like. It helps the, video, uh, the channel out a lot. We are on our way to 1,000. We just hit 700 a couple days ago, which is fantastic. So hit the sub button. Don't be afraid. I don't bite. And uh, yeah, watch the videos you see on the end screen because for whatever reason, YouTube thinks you'll like them. And uh, guys, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye for now.